All right. In this episode, I had somebody uh, ask me uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, the 3D capability of a virtual machine. Uh, in this case, I'm using VirtualBox. I was asking if it, if it you know, worked fairly well. Uh, I, th I have reason to believe that it will. Now, uh, older games such as Fallout are great for this. Um, many of your older Windows games that do not require heavy 3D acceleration will work well. And in this case, uh, Homeworld 2 um, appears to work fairly well. So let me go ahead and I'm going to fire up this game. And... Uh, not really going to do a whole lot in terms of gameplay. I just want to demonstrate that you can get it to work. All right, so um, we'll let this go, and we'll go with a single-player game, and we'll select this one and start. We'll go ahead, and we're going to skip the tutorials. I mean, not the tutorial, but the uh, cutscenes, and just go straight into the game, uh, if it will allow me to here. And uh, it takes a moment to load up everything. And uh, here we go. All right, and as you can see here, uh, this is n it's a cutscene using the game's engine, and it is using the uh, direct 3D capabilities of uh, of uh, the virtual graphics interface or whatever it's called. So, at any rate, you can see that it is working, and uh, we're actually into the game itself, and you can see here that it is working fairly well. We got our resource collector and we're going to uh, tell it to go over here. And uh, so as you can see it is somewhat choppy but the game is still playable. I just wanted to show that to you. Um, later on what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you some options for uh, installing these games in Wine. I've had a little bit of chance to play with Wine somewhat in uh, previous distributions, but never since I've installed this particular uh, operating environment, uh, which is the Pengai OS. So um, check back another time, and I should have uh, I, I should have uh, some when I have time, I should say, to put all this together, and we'll crank it out for you. Alright, and uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again soon.